I'm back again today with a new product that we're calling the Xbox to HDMI module. This is a fully custom module, not using the Wii to HDMI modules that you tend to find hobbyists using today. Um, this has a completely custom PCB inside with a high quality um, analog video to HDMI uh, converter IC that is uh, the next generation version of the IC that the Wii to HDMI modules utilize. Uh, this takes in the original Xbox uh, analog video, as well as its digital audio. So this takes in the Dolby uh, digital surround sound and outputs that over the um, HDMI connector here. Um, if you don't have a Dolby surround sound um, uh, TV that you're using, then you can just disable that in your, Wii or your Xbox's settings and it'll operate as normal. Uh, overall, this is a smaller module than the Wii to HDMI modules. We'll take a look at the dimension here. This is 58 millimeters long, whereas the Wii to HDMI modules are 73 millimeters long. This is 33 millimeters wide. The Wii to HDMI modules are 34 millimeters wide. And then this is, let's say 12 and a half millimeters uh, tall, whereas the Wii to HDMI modules are 14 millimeters tall. Uh, so overall smaller, more compact, fully custom, and higher quality. I'm going to cut to a video now showing this in use. Okay, this is a little hard to show just because I have my TV here and the Xbox here. Uh, my apologies for the glare on the TV. But what I have is the original Xbox with the Xbox to HDMI module plugged in with an HDMI cord going to this monitor. Uh, so if we turn this on, and I'm going to eject the disc so we go to the main home screen. You see it loads here. At this point, we can go into the settings, and I can show you that the audio settings are set to Dolby surround sound. Uh, so here we enabled the Dolby digital. Uh, we can also disable it and just go to stereo, uh, but in this case, we're going to do Dolby surround sound to show that the digital audio is working with this module. Um, if we go back, and then if I load Splinter Cell here, we'll see that the game loads without problem, and the audio comes up perfectly. If we go to second. See the Xbox screen. And here we go. We've loaded into Splinter Cell. So I can, I'll just let this play. So you can hear the audio is doing well. Uh, this TV doesn't have any actual surround sound speakers hooked up in the room, so the surround sound is just coming from the TV itself. Uh, if we let this load, you can see everything is perfect here. So. No issues whatsoever.